Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and I hope you're having a great day. Boy, do I got a good one for you though. I'm gonna be talking about some technical analysis here of the S&P 500, which I usually don't do. And it was just something that caught my eye as I was doing my research today, and it was pretty interesting. So I thought I would share something because this hasn't happened in over 30, over 30 years. So did you know that the S&P 500 traded underneath, underneath the 50-day moving average today for the first time? And that is going that it's gone about what is it 218 days without trading two consecutive days under the 50 day moving average. That is the longest streak since 1990, 31 years. That's how good this has been rolling. So a lot of people are wondering, is this a sign of other things? I don't usually do technical trading, but I did notice that and it was interesting. And I, I thought, you know, there's a lot of pressure right now. You got the COVID, you got a lot of things in DC, the debt ceiling, got the infrastructure bills, everybody. There's a lot of catalysts. I think people are waiting to see how some of this pans out. And then I think fourth quarter is gonna be huge. So I think you got a few weeks of either sideways trading and just a little bouncing around there. And then I'm thinking, like I said, I think the S&P 500 should be able to be a, to get up there about 25% up for the year. But we'll have to wait and see. If something gets messed up down in DC, that can be turned around already. But we already hit our 15 to 20% price prediction, so that's great though. And I also wanna talk about some of the stocks out there that are absolutely doing well, and what's the future of one that could be acquired? And for those who've been watching the channel, you know which one I'm talking about, but we're gonna get into that in a second. But before we do, take a look down below. This is big, and it's from Lucid. You can get a, not from Lucid, but you can get a share of Lucid. Take a look, hit the Moomoo link right below the video. Right now, deposit $100 or more, and you get a free, lucid share which is already in the 20s and so this is a great opportunity for people and it's only going to run till uh, between 916 and 930 so you're going to want to take advantage of this uh, it's a two-week opportunity and you get another free share between three and 350 for this and if you go two thousand dollars or more you also get an additional GM share on top of the lucid share and the three to 350 share Oh, it's a lot of free stuff. So I highly recommend taking advantage of this opportunity. And if you got another person in your house, like I said, I, I wife, husband, you can both use, click the links down below. You can get two accounts. You'll, you'll both get a free share of, of Lucid. And if you got kids 18 or older, I always recommend that they get their own accounts just so they understand. This is a great way to get an instant 20 something percent on $100. Highly recommend it. Now, of course, I do have the other links down below to BlockFi and Coinbase. BlockFi giving you up to 250 in free Bitcoin. Coin Coinbase giving you a free Bitcoin for signing up with the email and ID verification. So as we get into this, take a look at this. Uh, the uh, Right now, the markets as a whole, they were pretty tough. 0 0.91, 0 0.91, 0 0.48. Oh, I got hammered today. But look, the main stocks crushed it. I mean, this is a rarity. But then when you see this, you think, okay, now how could all four of the big stocks actually be green? Well, then you look at the Russell. The Russell was actually up 0.18. I talked about this before. If you look at the stocks in the Russell, and I showed you a chart in this one of the prior videos this week, that it was 90% uh, of the stocks in the Russell was were down 10% or more. And there's a good chunk that are down 20% or more. And so for me, I've, I've read a few articles out there, some statements that uh, some big hedge funds out there believe that the rotation back into the smaller companies to grow stocks is gonna happen real soon, that we're down there. They already had their correction. And the bigger portfolio, the bigger indices, are they just haven't had it. But if you look at the S&P 500, I believe uh, the chart I showed in one of the prior videos just this week was that uh, it was almost like 50% of the stocks are already down 10%. It was the other 50% pulling it up that they're doing that well. So it's an inter interesting thing to watch, but it's gonna lead into something we're gonna discuss here. And uh, overall though, for the week, I don't think the S&P 500 was down that bad. If we take a look, uh, yeah, it was just down 0.97 over the last five days. So no panic there. And I am looking forward to see where it goes, because if you look at the last month, we had a nice pop up, but we're still actually up 0.74% for the month, which if you times that by 12 months, that's pretty much the average. You know, you're looking at about, what is that, about 9% for an annualized. So we'll see how it goes. But as we move into it, what stocks do we have? First, you can get this one for free. Lucid, and you're looking at $23 a share. It's run up nicely. I remember buying it down in the 17th. Now, and everybody was telling me it was going to 12, 
and so it didn't go to 12. It's actually up to 20, it's up 29% right now over the last 16 days. So the question is, can it continue? Is it gonna continue? I think with the EPA rating that this stock just got, or the car just got with 520 miles to a charge, that is incredible. And the technology is there, the beauty of that car, can't be argued. I think it's a beautiful car and we just got to see them start delivering. And I, I said this before, this is a high risk play. Uh, we've seen this stock go all the way up to 60. We've seen it go back down into the teens and now we wait and you just sit here and wait. I'm hoping in October they start delivering some vehicles. Obviously it's going to be a slow uh, process for 2021. I hope to see it ramp up nicely in 2022. And then I hope the explosion of manufacturing can happen in 2023. So this is definitely one of them stocks I like for the long term. I think we're gonna see some good movement on this. Like I said, $30 by the end of this year, I think people are gonna be surprised. There is definitely a shot at a short squeeze. This stock has a huge amount of money that is shorted on this as it gets higher and it's going quickly. You can see a lot of pressure on this and that can throw the gas on the, uh, the fire, if you will, and we'll find out. Now, the next stock I got here, Rush Street Interactive. This is the one I was talking about. I mentioned this back after the GNOG uh, acquisition front by DraftKings, and I have been continuing to discuss this. And it goes to show you how diversity is important in a portfolio. If you got 50 stocks, you know, you're gonna have a, a, a couple of them that don't make it. You could even say 10% of them. You can say five stocks out of 50 might not do well, even though you did all your research and everything else. I know I've had that happen and it is what it is. It's why you diversify. That's why I have so many stocks in my portfolio. It is because even if you do everything you're supposed to and you miss it, you got the other ones to pick up the slack. And you should remember, I told, I showed you that whole thing about selling uh, seven to eight percent down is the old, you know, that's the old advice I was always given. Seven to eight percent. I like ten to fifteen percent in there somewhere. And of course, you have your conviction plays where you're just going to hold them. You got my Tesla, my Neo, and some of my other stocks that I just absolutely love. And with that being said, though. You know, if you have that rule to, to limit your losses, seven to 10% down and you say, all right, I'm out, I, I'm gonna cut it. You don't sit there and fall in love and that stock can't drag you down. And I, I've been guilty of that. I know there's a few stocks that I held on to longer than I should have, and it ended up costing me a few extra thousand dollars in losses. Now, the good news is you can write those off, get some of that back in your taxes uh, when you file next year or offset some gains. So hopefully you got the Ethereum. I know that's been doing well. We're gonna talk about that. But Rush Street Interactive was one that I did mention back when we had that acquisition of GNOG and I said, look, based on the same valuations that they gave GNOG, this stock, if it was acquired using the same rationale, should be trading around 20 to $21 a share. And that's back when it was in the low teens. And since then, this thing has run up and we can take a look over the last six months and you can see it, it was right in here. Uh, this thing has run up quickly and you can see it's up 51% now and we could see it rolling and it's getting closer and closer to that price. And then you're reading, hey, there is talk that their uh, fanatics reported talking to Rush Street Interactive. If that are, if the deal comes out based on those valuations, you would think, just say $21. But you know what, since then, and this is a bigger company than GNOG. I think GNOG was around 1 billion. This thing is now 4 billion. Put it at 3 billion before the big run up, a little under 3 billion. But uh, I would say that that, you know, with the improvement of the gambling industry, this company has been doing good things. That would put this probably in the middle 20s as a price for an acquisition. And so to me, I thought the downside would be around $16. The upside could be in the mid 20s. It could be even higher. It could be up there between 25 and $30 a share because now we know that the sports are rolling and your stadiums are packed. Things are happening, and I think this could have that opportunity, and I think that's why you're seeing the spikes up. Now, at this point, I don't know. I got in way back when. For those who've been following me and did the same thing, congratulations. This is another winner in the in the belt, if you will. We're doing okay. Um, so, DraftKings, speaking of that, this is the one I had to buy and uh, bought out, and you know what? It continues to do well. You're gonna see some ups and downs. I still think there's a shot for this to hit 80 by the end of the year, and we'll find out. The The gambling industry is just new. It is so new. I think around half the states have a uh, gambling legalized now in some sort, 
And I think that leaves a lot of room for growth. And eventually, most of the states in the United States will be legalized gambling. It just takes a long time and a lot of money. So I do expect DraftKings somewhere down the road to have to raise more money as well. But I think it's dominating. I feel really good about it. It's definitely my number one stock in the industry. I do have some other ones I like. But right now, I put a big amount of money on Rush Street Interactive. That's paying off nicely. I should have did the options. I was thinking about it. It's another one I missed. You know, I, I thought that that would be a perfect opportunity based on the valuations that somebody would want to buy it. It was the perfect number. Uh, it's a, just another example of missing it. So uh, we'll take it. Ethereum right now at the time I'm making this video, finally driving up a little bit. You can see we had a, a good run up there. Uh, over the last five days, we got up to the 3600s and then back down all the way down to the 33s. We've been kind of trading. And if you look at this, it is a, if you did a regression line, who says you're not gonna use the regression lines from old statistics class? But if you did one over the last month, it is going in the right direction. We have these pops, comes back down. Overall, a lot of big pros out there. Uh, saying that they expect this thing to blow up over the next three and a half months before year's end. I thought 4,400 would be a great price by the end of the year, and I'd be happy. And I'm hearing that they, oh, that's way too conservative. This thing could go up to, uh, I'm hearing 7,000 to 10,000. I just can't see it tripling, even doubling in only you know 14 weeks. I, I just don't see uh, the, the main catalyst to push it like that. I think it's a much more mature market now. I think the big whales are in there. Uh, you, and I'm talking about big investment companies getting into it. And so the days of that crazy wildness, I think they're, they're kind of gone for Ethereum and Bitcoin. You could still see it roll up quickly, but I don't think it's gonna go like we did, I think back in the last bull run, we doubled in uh, under 30 days and it was crazy. And so I was at the top to get to that new top. I don't think we'll see it quite like that. I think we'll see a sustained bull run and it'll be fun. You're, you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna see ups and downs, but it, just like this line, you're gonna see it just continue higher. You can take a look at this and it's much the same. And you can see how it's kind of was popping up there quickly, but now we just kind of slowly going up and it's up 7% over uh, a month and two weeks. So we'll see how it goes though. And in the long run, like I said, I have $100,000 of that staked over at Coinbase, the link down below. Take advantage of that, that free Bitcoin they give you for the ID and email verification. If you haven't come on over to my Patreon, that's where you're gonna wanna go. I'm over there talking about everything. We're making big moves, starting a brand new portfolio all, uh, on October 1st or 2nd in there somewhere. And you can follow along with that. I've made some major moves. I'm investing in real estate as a little personal, uh, I'll let you know some of my personal things here. The biggest real estate investment I have ever made and I am excited, but unfortunately for me, and I know this happened to some other YouTubers out there, uh, you know, usually go to a bank, get a loan, don't think anything of it. So I went to the bank after I made the deal with all the guys I was working with and it was a fantastic deal. At the end of the day, I went to the bank and they said, yeah, you're, yo, I have, I have an eight, over an 800 credit score. I have all, you know, lots of capital, I'm ready to go. And they said, no, we can't give you a loan. And they said, you don't have two years of your business, which I am now have here, uh, of business returns. You only have one. And so unfortunately for me, I had to pay cash. And I remember watching another YouTuber's video on the same situation that he could, he had to pay cash for a house and it is what it is and so unfortunately i had to sell a lot of stocks just today actually to move that money to get ready to make my purchases but i'm going to be doing videos on the whole procedure you're going to like this uh, it's going to show you just a different side of my channel besides just stock stock stocks i do believe in being diversified with real estate i was one of the first things i ever invested in was property i was a landlord way back when when i was in my early 20s so decades ago and uh, and did very well for me. So now I've always had my mind on a few different kind of opportunities in real estate. And we're gonna do videos on that down the road though, down the road. If you wanna follow along though, come on over to the Patreon. You can hit the, we have a private discord, thousands of members, and we have a lot of fun over there. And of course, take advantage of the Moo Moo thing right now. Like I said, you can get that free share of Lucid. And if you got others in the house that are 18 or older, hit the link down below. Y'all put a hundred bucks in there and y'all get a free share of Lucid stock plus another share between three, three, uh, three and $350, which you can end up getting more than you actually put in. No matter what though, you get an automatic 20 plus percent on your money and if you put two thousand dollars or more in there you get the free share of gm on top of it worth over 50 the lucid worth 20 something the share three to three hundred and fifty 
it's a lot of money for free. So I highly recommend doing this. Now, uh, that's all I got for you today. Hope you have a great day and get out there and root your team in and the football is rolling. I'm going to be up at the stadium watching Penn State and Auburn. It's going to be something else. See if you can see me in the stands at 730. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.